An effort to get the case dismissed against one teenager accused of intentionally hitting and killing a cyclist fails. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy is here with more. Denise at the center of the case video from the alleged crime spree which went viral and one defense attorney is trying to sound the alarm about media coverage. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This video showing the moments before 64-year-old retired California police chief Andy Probst was hit and killed. Jameer Keyes, 16 at the time, identified by Las Vegas Metro Police as the passenger. Jesus Ayala, 17 at the time, as the driver. And his Clark County Public Defender David Westbrook arguing media coverage of the alleged crime spree isn't helping his client's case. This media coverage in this case has been fast and furious and it has been not just local but national and international. Video from the alleged crime spree went viral before the teens now charged as adults were indicted by a grand jury. Westbrook says he's concerned about a bias. It's part of his argument as he asks for the charges, including murder, to be dropped, which Clark County Deputy District Attorney John Giordani strongly objects to. And the idea that I need to go in front of the grand jury and ask them, hey, have you seen this in the news? Uh, anyone have an issue with this case is ridiculous. There's no uh, procedure to do that. Um, I'm not going to bring every case that, that the RJ decides or the uh, Channel 8 decides to do a story on to the chief judge. That's not even, um, that's implausible. Judge Jacqueline Bluth declining to drop the charges and also warning the teens after video like this from a previous court appearance. The daughter of Prope says not only were she and her mother flipped off, but the teens appear to laugh and look at them as they exit the courtroom. Moving forward, that will be the expectation that we will all treat each other with dignity and respect throughout this process. And it's a hard process and it's adversarial, but it doesn't mean that we owe each other anything less. Do both of you understand that? <laughs> Westbrook says he received death threats after one court appearance where a photo of him was taken as he spoke with Ayala and they were both smiling. He says this was a couple of hours before the case went before a judge and they weren't laughing about the case. Denise. Well, for now, both of those teenagers are still in jail. A trial scheduled for late next year and the widow approach telling Vanessa this is disappointing that it's so far away. Right.